In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer data from a C Sharp Windows form over to a web page of your choice. For this example, I'm going to be using Facebook. Uh, you can use any website, but it's all going to be different based on the site that you use. So first thing that you want to do is come over to your toolbox and you want to grab a web browser. If it's docked, you want to make sure that it's undocked, then you can just move it over here. Uh, you can also hide this later. We won't always need it to show, but for now we will. And then since Facebook only uses a username and password, all we're going to need is two text boxes. So get this one, and then this one would be the password. And then you're also going to make sure that you get a timer. So now we're going to go over to Facebook, copy this URL. And for the URL, we're actually going to put HTTPS. And that will be the site that loads. Now, once you first click on here, so instead of doing a load or anything, we'll just do it on text change. We'll do timer1.start. Now you can do this on load too, uh, you just have to wait for the web page to actually load. So you could do like a try and catch statement. So yeah, actually let's make this easier. We'll just double click the form and we will do timer1.start. And now we're going to also rename these. This will be user, and then the other one will be pass. Now in timer one, we're just gonna open it up and have it ready. Now what you want to do is go over to Facebook. You want to right click the email, come down to inspect, And we're looking for IDs. So right here it says the ID is email. So we're just gonna copy this email, come over the code, and what we're going to do is we're going to do web browser one dot document dot get document by ID, and we're just gonna paste that in there, and we're gonna do enter text is equal to user.txt and we're also going to do web browser one dot document dot gets element by ID and then we have to get the password inspect and the ID is pass, so that's all we need. I'm gonna put pass in there, and then, and it's actually gonna be enter text, not HTML. And this one's gonna be pass dot text. Now that's really all you have to do. Now if you want, you can also do like the button click, so like the login. Um, I believe Facebook has an ID. Yeah, so this is the ID for the, um, the login, so if you want to, you can. The only thing with the login is um, it's going to be a little bit different, so instead of doing that, you would do document. Um, get it and then you would put the id here obviously and this one would be invoke member and then inside the invoke member you would just put click so it the the action would be clicking and then it would be clicking that id so it would click that button um we're not going to do that
but we can go ahead and build this. The build finish. Come over into my YouTube. And it will say this, um, this is mainly just because how I called the timer, I made it start on load, um, and I didn't do the try statements, so if, but it, it will still work, as you can see, this is the site, um, it only says unsupported browser because I'm using it in uh, C sharp, but you know, type anything that you want, and then even the next thing is type in there as well um you can do it the same um like in reverse too if you wanted to so if you wanted to pull data from a website you would basically do this exact thing but just backwards um so if you wanted to pull the email then you would just use this would be first um yeah but that's pretty much for this video i hope you enjoyed as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you would like to see anything specific, just comment down below. Let me know, and I'll try my best to make it.